great, my blue apron's arrived. Hi, this is Valerie with At My Home. Blue Apron is celebrating their 10th anniversary this month, and we've been using it so long, even before we had our own YouTube channel, we can't believe that we've never done a video to show you how it works. So today, I'm going to show you what's inside the box, and then I'm going to cook up a meal and show you what it's like. So let's get started. Now before I actually open the box, I want to show you this label here. Now what we really like about Blue Apron is the quality and the freshness of the ingredients. And not only are all the ingredients fresh, you can actually see on this label where they come from, which is really neat. So I can see that the shallots are from Fresno County. I can see the broccoli is from Monterey County. And it does that individually with every one of those ingredients so we know where our foods come from. We think that's really great. Okay, so one of the first things you see when you open up the Blue Apron box are the recipe cards. These are really great. They have a nice picture of what you're gonna cook. And on the other side, they have really clear instructions so you can see each step and kind of what it looks like while you're cooking. So really like these. So we typically order for the two of us, we get three meals with two portions each time. But uh, you can customize that depending how many people on your family. You can order multiple meals. You can order, I think, uh, you can order as many meals as you want. So that's typically what we do for a typical week. So let's see what it actually looks like inside. Well, and lately they've started sending us ads. So that's very exciting. <laughs> Something else to recycle. All right, so this is packed in a really nice um, package here to keep everything cool. So I'll take it out and I'll show you that more close up in a minute. Oh, so uh, this is a big thing of ice since it's August. <laughs> um, this has a lot more ice than normal, which is really great. And over the years, Blue Apron has really made a huge effort in improving their sustainability and making things easier to recycle and using different kinds of um, different kinds of materials to do things. So for this, for instance, this one has got drainable gel and says you can actually feed your plants with it, which is pretty cool. We've got some broccoli. I'm going to push this ice out of the way here. It's pretty heavy. So we've got some nice bag of broccoli. This is what they call knickknacks. So these are the knickknacks for one of the meals. The summer vegetable gnocchi. It's only a couple of things in here. Uh, these are the knickknacks for one of the other meals, the cod meal. And you can see here that they've got little individual sizes of things like peanut butter, a little, a little thing of ponzu sauce. What we really love about Blue Apron is they give you just enough of everything that you need to prepare your meal so you don't have to measure out something or waste something or buy an ingredient that you know, maybe you're never going to use again. So we really like that. Out there. Got a zucchini. Got some green beans. These are some potato gnocchi for one of our meals. Cherry tomatoes. Here's another bag of knickknacks. So Blue Apron has really improved their packaging. They used to put a lot of things, a lot more things loose. Now they put a lot more things together in the same bag so you don't get confused. Uh, so that, like the rice is in here for one of the meals, for instance. Um, it's otherwise, so when it comes time to cook, it makes it really easy just to pull out the little bag of knickknacks so you have everything you need. Here's a pepper. Some potatoes. All right. And actually, you can see here on the box, it's warm out here. So they're letting you know that since it's really warm outside, they wanna make sure that everything shows up fresh. And so they're letting you know that that's why you have a little bit of extra packaging this month, or this week, I should say. And let you know that if this thing is wet, everything is still okay. So it's all good to use. I'm just gonna to toss that over here. All right, so now that we've uncovered um, all of the, the fresh ingredients, the vegetables and the knickknacks, this is what they usually do to keep all the food fresh, is when you get to the meat, it's down at the bottom. 
So we've got um, some shrimp, a real nice shrimp. We really like the sustainable seafood that Blue Apron uses. Put that right here. Then we've got some wild Atlantic cod. Oh, and we've got another ice pack. So this has got two really big ice packs in here since it's summer. Make sure everything stays fresh. And a garlic. Nice thing about Blue Apron is we never have to buy our own garlic. We always have some left over. This is one thing that they don't cut down into the specific size for you. You just use a, one or two cloves or maybe more. All right. So when we first started using Blue Apron, there was a lot of plastic packaging, a lot of things that were really hard to recycle. So over the 10 years that they've been in business, they've really improved their packaging. And this temper pack Climacell paper-based insulation is a really good example of that. So I'll show you here inside. It's all paper and it's really nicely done. There's a, a plain paper wrap on the outside and then some, some uh, thermocell lining inside. So this is much easier to recycle and they've got information here. Actually, there's a, there's a QR code you can scan that tells you how to recycle it in case you're not sure what to do with it. And that makes it a lot easier to not have so much waste. We have got everything we need to make three different meals this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of these out to make and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so let's get ready to cook. So tonight I'm gonna make the tomato achar glazed shrimp and lime rice with mustard seed green beans. So here's the recipe. So I'll start by getting everything out of the fridge so I can get ready to cook. Okay, here's the green beans. Here's all the knickknacks I'm gonna need. Let me check off my list here. So I think all this stuff is in the knickknacks bag. And then I've got to get the shrimp. Okay, so here's the fresh shrimp here. And I'll put that here. So I've got green bean shrimp and a bag of knickknacks. So let me just make sure everything's in there. We've got some brown rice, brown and yellow mustard seeds, uh, one ounce of cashews some tomato achar, which is a savory tomato chutney, a little Greek yogurt, a lime. This is some Vadavan curry powder and a little baby thing of honey. And I'm just gonna need this to make sure it gets warm faster. And that's it, that's everything in the knickknack bag. So let's get ready to prep. Okay, I've got all my ingredients laid out and I went ahead and got all my bowls and I washed the green beans. I got everything ready to go. So uh, Blue Apron makes it really easy. They have five main steps here on this list and tells you exactly what to do. Now, we've been using Blue Apron for so long, we're really used to following these little card recipes, but since we've been using it in the last few years, they also have um, put in the app the app has really great instructions where you can check off all the ingredients on your list and follow along that way if that's easier for you. But I like the printout, so this is how I'm gonna do it. So the first step I've got is to uh, get the rice going. So this is brown rice. I've got my pan over there. So I'm just gonna pop it in there with a pinch of salt and start at the water. Just pinch of salt. All right, so got to get that to boiling, and when it's and when it's ready to boil, when it is boiling, then I will set the timer. I'll just give it a little stir. So this is actually a Blue Apron wellness recipe, uh, which is that they developed in consultation with Weight Watchers. So if you're on a Weight Watchers program, they make it really easy because you can actually just scan the little barcode here on the sheet. And then you can scan it right into your Weight Watchers app and it personalizes it for you. Um, also in the app, you can uh, keep track of it and add it right to your Apple Health. So it tracks one serving of this recipe into Apple Health, um, which is pretty neat if you're tracking your calories. 
So we don't always order these wellness um, meals, but they're usually pretty reliable. They're generally, this one's I think under 600 calories and they're always delicious and um, really hearty. So we really like them. Okay, so my next step is to wash and dry the fresh produce. I've already washed the green beans here. So now I'm just gonna prep everything um, as they direct it and make it look like these cute little bowls. So um, I would say probably two out of three Blue Apron recipes that we do call for zesting your lemon or lime. So we invested in this nice little microplane zester and we use it a lot, we really like it. It's one of the great techniques we've learned when cooking with Blue Apron. Okay, so now I'm preparing the glaze for the shrimp and this is gonna be a spicy dish and they say, use as much of the tomato achar as you like, depending how spicy you want it. So I'm gonna put all of it in. Ooh, it looks spicy. There you go. Let's get all of it. Yum. So the only thing you have to provide for the Blue Apron is generally water, salt and pepper. All right, so I'm almost done with all of my prep work. I'm just making up the yogurt sauce. All right, got that ready to go. So now it's time to cook the green beans. Okay, got the stove going. Let's put a little drizzle of olive oil in here. All right, let it heat up a little bit, and then I'm gonna add the green beans. Now I just gotta cook these for two to three minutes without stirring, so I've got them all in there, until they're lightly browned. So I'm gonna throw in the mustard seeds. And they're all nice in this little bag. I'm gonna cook for a couple more minutes. Oh. And there's the timer. Alexa, stop. That's the timer for the rice. I'm just gonna turn it off. Give it a little fluff with the fork here. Looks nice and done. So just gonna close that, set that aside. Okay, so those are all done. So Go ahead and turn this off, take them out, put them in a bowl. And try to get all the mustard seeds out of there. Wrap them up with some foil, leave them over here so they can stay warm till we're ready to finish up our dish. It suggests that you wipe out the pan and there's still a lot of mustard seeds in here. So I'm gonna give it a little wipe. Okay, now I've got my shrimps and I need to pat them dry with some paper towels. And then I'm gonna season them with this Vadavan curry powder and some salt and pepper. Get them nice and dry. I'll take off the tails, get them in the dish. All right, so now I'm gonna get the shrimp ready. So I just need to hit it with some salt and pepper and some of this Vadavan curry powder. Now they tell you that you only need to put enough in there to give it a nice coat. So I'm not gonna overdo it. A lot of times I use everything. Now they do say for the wellness recipes that you should not add any additional salt. So if you're watching your salt intake, I am not. That's something to watch out for. There's not that much left in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it all. All right, so now I've got a nice coat on there. I'll go back to the stove and start cooking. All right, heat the pan back up, put some more olive oil in. And the pan's nice and warm. I'm gonna go ahead and put the shrimp in. All right, so it just wants me to get them in an even layer and then cook them without stirring for two to three minutes. 
Okay, so we're getting down to the last steps here. So now I'm going to add my glaze. I got to be careful because pan's hot. Got all my glaze there. Got to cook these one to two minutes till they're cooked through. All right, these are looking pretty good. They sure smell good. So I'm going to go in ahead and turn off the heat. Then we can finish up the rice and get ready to plate. All right, so to finish up the rice, it's still warm in there. I'm going to add the lime zest. And then give it some salt and pepper. Mix that all in. Okay, so now I'm ready to plate. And there's about half the rice. More. Get some of that yummy spicy sauce in there. Um, that looks a little uneven, so I'll move that shrimp over there. Got the shrimp. I just need the green beans. The green beans with the mustard seeds. All right, so got my shrimp, green beans, and rice. Now I just got to top it off with the lime yogurt. And I'll add a little bit, leave a little bit on the side, and garnish with the cashews. Leave some more of those for the table. And then garnish it with the lime wedge. And we're all set. Okay, so here's the finished dish. Looks pretty good, sure smells good. And uh, here's the picture. So it actually looks pretty much like it. Maybe a little bit more sauce. Time to eat.